Hello and welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Today we are going to learn about an important update that has come up with the uh, latest release of Studio 2022.10. Okay. So uh, as we all know, uh, in UI path we have different types of studios. Like Studio is the Studio Web Piece and Studio X is also available. But till this date or uh, till the release of 2022.10, there was no provision to sync the projects between Studio Web and Studio or Studio X, right? But it, with the latest update, uh, we got a feature to update the projects that we created in Studio to Studio Web. Okay, so whatever the project that we are creating, which is a cross-platform project, we can directly sync it with the Studio Web. Okay, so ju just consider if you are creating some project and someone else want to uh, uh, add some some more uh, uh, features to that project. Okay, so what you can do? You can upload that to the cloud instance and someone else can uh, access that project from studio web and he can modify that and you have the provision in studio to get the latest code also you can use the version controller that is one option but here uh, in one way you can tell okay this this works like a version controller or here um, one another benefit is like just consider you don't have the studio uh, installed in your machine but you have only studio web okay that is available you can directly get it uh, by connecting to the orchestrator or from uh, there you can open the studio web right to the cloud from the cloud you can open the studio web and uh, you can directly get that project and you can do the modification right so uh, that is one benefit of uh, um, uh, syncing the studio web and the studio so let's go through the ppt you can start working on automation project in studio web then switch to studio or studio x okay continue work and send it back to studio web this option is valid only for cross platform project so we need to keep this in mind we have different types of compatibility that is available in your path that is windows windows legacy and cross platform right but this feature is only available with cross platform projects okay so once the project is saved to cloud in studio web Closing it in studio will automatically save changes to cloud. When a project connected to the cloud is opened in studio, the latest version is automatically downloaded from the cloud. So here the important thing that we need to keep in mind is uh, whatever the changes that we are doing in studio and we are uh, closing the studio. Okay, it means it will push the latest code to studio web. Okay, and whenever we are opening that project in studio, it will get the latest code from the studio web. Okay, so whatever the changes that you are making in studio web, it will get directly reflected in studio. And in case by mistake, if you are not saving those changes and you are directly closing it, means that say changes will get directly saved to studio web. Okay, so you need to keep that in mind. So one way it is working like a version controller as well. To save a studio project to cloud. Set cloud compatibility, save to cloud from the bottom right corner of studio. After saving to cloud, select cloud com compatibility, open in studio web to access the project from studio web. So uh, uh, there are two provisions, like if you are creating a project in uh, studio and you need to push that to studio web, right? After uh, sending the latest code to studio web and you need to open that project in studio web, means there is option to open that project in studio web, open in uh, web studio. Okay, so one option is there. Same like uh, that, uh, if that project is synced with studio in studio web means, you can open the project in studio from studio web also. I will show you how you can do that. So let me close this PPT. Okay, so we are going to create a new process. Okay. Mm. Sync Studios. Okay, I'm just naming it like Sync Studios. And here, one important thing that you need to keep in mind is we need to choose compatibility as cross platform. Okay, if you're not choosing cross platform, means you will not be able to see the feature to Sync Studio and Studio Web. Okay, so let's click on Create. And meanwhile, let me go to Studio Web. Okay, so this is my cloud instance, and uh, let me go to Studio.
okay so here you can see there are three projects that is available right and what i'm going to do is let me open meanwhile flow and this is a cross platform project right and near to this uh, cross platform you can able to see a new button right that is cloud compatibility so this is a new feature that has added so if you click on this you can see option called save to cloud okay so if you made some changes to this project and save to cloud means this project will directly get saved to this uh, uh, studio web okay so i will show you how to do that so let me go to activities mm, okay and, uh, let me use right line activity okay execution starter okay so i'm just giving execution starter okay that's it and uh, in cloud compatibility i'm going to click on save to cloud let's go back here and uh, let me refresh this okay so here you can see a new project got added up right sync studio with the current date and it is syncing up so it is trying to get all the dependency from the studio web and it will uh, directly add up all those things in the studio web project studio web imported succeeded okay then what you can do okay then let me click on this if you click on these three dots you will be able to see a lot of uh, other options okay you can share it or if you want to duplicate it, that is possible or let just consider your studio is closed and you want to open the studio uh, uh in desktop means you can just click on open in desktop okay or if you just want to download this project means you can click on download project and you can just unzip it and you can open it in the studio or uh, if you want to edit the properties like uh, the name of the project or the description uh, you can uh, modify and just click on save and uh, another option is open project okay so you can open up the project so here just consider i already opened the project in uh, studio web also right so what i'm going to do is let me go to cloud project so earlier we only had this option save to cloud right so once the project got synced with studio web we'll be getting more number of options okay so one is open in studio web so just consider you created one project and you push the code to studio web but you didn't open the studio web right so at that time you can just click on open in studio web then that project will get open in studio web uh, uh studio web okay and if you want to save a copy means you can just click on save a copy or if you want to get the latest version from studio web you can just click on get the latest version so i will show you all these things so now you can see our uh, project got open in studio web so now what i'm going to do is let me click on this save to cloud okay so it is showing one error like save to cloud failed project is locked by studio web because at a time we cannot make the changes in both the studio platform okay either we can make the changes here or either we can make the changes here so let me do one thing let me go back okay now we haven't opened this project right? just click on save to cloud okay do you want to operate with the local version yes okay now we can see this the changes are getting saved to studio web so it means two instances we cannot open at a time okay so now what i'm going to do is open project in this project we uh, only had one uh, right line activity okay so i'm going to add one more right line and uh, let's see how we can sync that to studio okay so just click on right line okay console dot right line and the text i'm going to enter it like uh, execution completed that's it okay and if you want to directly publish uh, it to orchestrator you can publish it from here okay uh, so i'll be explaining all these uh, features of studio web in another session in a detailed video of a studio web so now i added one new thing so let me go to studio and uh, what i'm going to do is just click on get latest version okay so it is trying to get the latest version from studio web 
So whatever the changes that we made in Studio Web will get reflected in our Studio. Okay, so earlier we had only one right line activity. Now we can see right line one, uh, one also execution completed. Okay, so whatever the changes that we made in the Studio Web is now available in Studio also. Okay, so this is one important update uh, that has come up with uh, 2022.10 uh, version. So just try to explore this because uh, this will help you a lot to keep a backup of your project and if uh, multiple persons are working on the same uh, project. Okay, but only thing is it will work only with the cross platform project. It cannot work with the Windows or uh, Windows legacy at this moment. Okay. So I hope you got a clear understanding about the um, things and uh, let me do one thing let me show you one more thing I'm going to add one more like right line activity I'm going to add it like a ended okay and uh, click on save I'm going to close this uh, studio save to the project is locked away okay because this project is already open in studio web right that's why we got that error message now if i add one more right line activity okay in studio web you don't need to put the double quotes okay mm. I'm going to add it like a test one okay so that's it test one and I'm going to open studio okay so the whatever the changes that has happened in uh, studio web should get reflected in uh, studio okay so whenever if you are opening a new uh, uh, instance of studio the latest update that has happened in studio will uh, studio web will get synced to uh, studio okay all changes in overlapping files will be lost do you want to continue yes okay so it is getting the latest version from uh, studio okay open workflow okay now we can see right line 2 as well now what i'm going to do is delete this okay save it then let me go to instance go back okay then it means uh, we are just closing this project in studio Web. now i'm going to close this okay saving project to cloud okay so if you are closing the studio means it will directly save the changes to cloud Then let me open the project we want able to see the third right line activity because the latest update from studio automatically got saved to studio web. Uh, why I am going uh, detailed about this feature is in future if you are going to use this feature you need to understand how you can keep a backup uh, properly while saving your uh, while closing your studio or while opening the studio how you can get the latest update okay so here you can see only two right lines are the third right line got deleted it means uh, the latest changes from studio got uh, updated in the studio okay so i hope i hope you got a clear understanding about this uh, latest feature that is a uh, sync studio uh, web and uh, studio and studio x okay so if there is any confusion regarding this new feature do uh, comment in the comment section and please share this video with your friends and if you find this video useful please like the video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye